this is one of many, many subjects that truly bother me. And when you are one person, it is very frustrating when you see the injustices not simply carried out by everyday ordinary people in the streets and on the streets, even working people, but the injustices that are carried out by people in power. And we were all taught to respect authority, to respect people in position and power in our judicial system, in our government, and during the political processes, uh, in the school systems, and so on. But it is disheartening when you find, and the only way you're going to find this is through observation, diligence, and research. When you find that things are not as they appear. In other words, the same institutions and even many more to include the church. When you find that these people in power and position and authority are actually evil people. Cutting to the chase. Is there reformation of a prisoner while they are locked away in prison so that when they get back out and hit the streets they have the opportunity to live a productive life and a substantive life thereafter the answer is no I answer quickly it's no does a prison reform a person no you would think that it would but it doesn't what does a prison do a prison is a place where people are punished for committing crimes and they're giving a sentence of so many years some life some even death some short term some mediocre and some long term but once you leave prison where do you find yourself when you get back out into society? Do you have the ability to acquire a job? In many instances, people have been uh, labeled as a felon because you committed a crime supposedly that was a felonious crime or wants that title and that title follows you for the rest of your life. So if prison is designed to reform you then why can't you get a job when you get back out why can you not raise a family or what remains of your family if there's a family left when you get out why can't you not be productive and have a decent job where you can support at least yourself and possibly a family why do you have to turn back to the same criminal behavior which will ultimately end you up back in prison or even dead. Why do you see prisoners or past felons or prisoners on the street, hanging on the corner, no job, drinking alcohol, sleeping on benches and steps and in alleys and abandoned building, buildings and so forth, smoking weed or marijuana, nothing to do nowhere to go it's by design it is not intended for that inmate to be able to come back out into society and be a productive member of society it's not intended that way it is intended to break you as a human being prison that is you spend most of your time daily locked down or locked up you get a small portion of time out for recreation and then you go back to your cell ordinarily 
Prison equates to money. Private companies, industries own prisons. So it's profit to them. They want to have all of the sales filled because they receive money from the government to house you. And most prisons have labor or laborers. The prisoners make products for various corporations while they're in there. And they make little to no money. It's free labor. And can we all say slavery? That's exactly what it is. It's legal slavery. It was designed that way. And it continues on. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. The prison industrial complex. They don't want you to come out and be productive in society anymore. Because the people who run the prisons are evil people. The people in the judicial system, the hierarchy, I'm referring to more specifically, they're evil people. The people in politics, the hierarchy, are evil people. The people in government, the hierarchy, are evil people. All they care about is capitalism, money, making profit, making profit off of people. That's the only value that you have as a human being to those people who control everything. So, they give you no hope while you're in prison. You have recreation, you pump some iron, you build your muscles up, you might lose some weight. You might be part of a prison gang or some group while you're in there. You have some educational tools and so forth, but they're limited. You might get your GED while you're in there. You get some medical benefits and so forth. But once you hit the streets, when your time is up, if you were labeled as a felon when you went in, you'll be a felon for the rest of your living days. And how is that? Once you've done your time, you are still punished when you come out. So prison does not reform you. It makes you worse. And only by the grace of God, if you are an individual that somehow makes it through it, you might find yourself some sort of loophole or some way that you can be productive in society and get back on your feet. And some have done that, and I know some people personally. But the vast majority of us who are locked in prison will never see that opportunity. And I've seen so many white and black men hopeless because they are ex-cons and they feel like they have nowhere to turn to and that no one cares and all they want is just simply another chance and the reasons people go to prison some of them are very much unnecessary for misdemeanor crimes and they get five, ten years away from their families. And the judges and the juries that sentence them, they don't care. Not at all. It's just business as usual. They don't care that you have three or four children and a wife. And we're not talking about people who have committed murder or some heinous act. We're talking about people who may have been a thief or stolen something or narcotics possession, even small amounts of marijuana who have gotten 10 years in prison or more thanks to the Clintons. But anyway, my prayer is always for those that are the underdogs in our society. Those who have been beaten down, stepped on, and continue to be oppressed by the oppressor and that's the powers that be and if you don't know who that is by now you just ought to so whether you're white, Asian, Latino, Jewish, black, uh, Middle Easterner it doesn't matter whoever you are 
and wherever you are, always have the confidence and the belief that you're not alone. And oftentimes, an individual such as myself, I can't change the world, but I can change it one person at a time, but I must begin with myself. And then I reach out to those who will listen. So many people who are like-minded, who think like me, in other words, on the same subject and various other ones, have confidence, all of you who are being oppressed. Not to say that I'm not, but I'm reaching out right now to you. Have faith and confidence that you are not alone and that there are people who do understand what your situation is. And there will be a better and a greater day. But getting back to the original questions, do prisons reform a person? Absolutely not. If there's no money in it, then there's no reform.